which is elusive. So we have even right there. What's his name? This is an emergency transmission. This is an emergency transmission from FEMA Region 6 in occupied North America. There is a war. It's happening now. It will decide the fate of humanity. The time to choose sides has come. We are the resistance. We are the info war. All right, we are joined in this segment and into the next by the health ranger, naturalnews.com. And he's got his natural news health labs as well, where he tests different products out there. And he joins us to talk about an article that we had up on InfoWars.com today that he wrote for naturalnews.com. Google robots, Kurzweil's AI, and why self-aware machines will inevitably seek to destroy humanity. And that's what all the other top scientists are saying, but they'll just squash us like a bug. And Kurzweil doesn't believe in God yet. He says he will become God. So I wanted to get uh, Mike, who's a really good programmer and engineer in his own right, to get his take on where the architecture of this is going, because it's not that I'm against computers. It's that all of them are having back doors built into them. Look at this article, California's smartphone kill switch proposal going nationwide. Lawmakers in Illinois have introduced a bill that gives the police a code they broadcast that turns everybody's smartphone off so you can't videotape or tweet. The smart meters have this. The cars have it. When they take three parents and make a, quote, humanoid, they admit it's not really a human. They can add whatever uh, restrictions they want psychologically into it. The, the, we are in a Buck Rogers uh, type event. So I want to get into the rise of the robots first, but what about the rise of nanotech, the, the rise of uh, virus-based vaccines that change brain chemistry to make you more submissive? This isn't coming. This is here being tested on the trips. We are in 2014. Mike Adams. Hey, Alex, great to be joining you again. Great intro. Uh, very serious issues for the future of humankind. I think the rise of the robots, the, the, the two issues to really discuss here are the intentions of those like Google and, and Ray Kurzweil and others, but then there's the unintended consequences that are likely to emerge from this. On the intentional side, I think you and I would both agree that they, uh, humans, long term, from, from the globalist point of view, humans are replaceable by robots. They don't need humanity as much as we would hope. They they want to develop robots to replace soldiers, to replace factory workers. And they say that decision's been made. Uh, yes, yeah. right. So, so that's deliberate. We know that's going to happen. But the unintended consequence is that these robots, which are going to have high-level advanced AI, Google has been buying up all these artificial intelligence, neural networking companies, there will be an intelligence explosion, and that's a term from the realm of artificial intelligence, to where these machines will outsmart, outthink, and outmaneuver human beings, and then take over and then decide that humans are the problem. Sounds like science fiction, but there are a lot of very highly intelligent people who are seriously writing about this, studying this issue, and trying to find ways to keep high IQ, uh, high AI, excuse me, contained. And the conclusion is that you can't. Because at some point, they become more intelligent than even the smartest, most brilliant people. I mean, Ray Kurzweil is brilliant. He's a high IQ individual. No one can argue with that. But computers with AI can even exceed his intelligence and the intelligence of all humans combined. How are you going to contain that? The only rational conclusion is that you can't. So this is headed to, to a very dark time where we may be at war with the machines, Alex. That's right. And if you read what Kurzweil's written, but not just Kurzweil, Bill Joy in Wired Magazine in April 2000, and really the, the compendium of their work, there's not debate about it. They've made the decision in an evolutionary way to advocate responsibility and just say whatever's going to happen is going to happen. And so they're in a race to whoever can create the life extension uh, systems and to, for whoever can merge with machines the fastest. They yeah. say it's a foregone conclusion. It can't be stopped. So they've just given into it. Meanwhile, the general public has no idea this is even being prepared. Well, exactly. Um, and, and Ray Kurzweil just put out uh, an interview, I guess a week ago, where he, he predicted that machines would be more intelligent than humans by the year 
2029, I believe is what he said. Uh, that's not very far off. And this guy has a knack of being right about technology predictions. I hope Well, that's wrong. also because we know in the government and corporate reservations, the technology's 30 to 40 years advanced. It's just right. in the development stage. Uh, they don't roll it out on us till way past beta. That's right. Now, uh, I've been reading this book uh, by James Barat. It's called Our Final Invention. And uh, just, just sort of plug in that book because it's an important read for humanity. This book really gets into the technical details of the intelligence explosion and, and even experiments that have been conducted to see if computers can outsmart humans and escape any kind of boundaries that scientists have tried to put on them. And in almost every case, the, the, the AI systems or simulated AI systems have escaped. So because we're interconnected, the, the world is networked, everything is driven by scripts. Look at the economy, look at Wall Street, look at the nuclear power plants. They're driven by computer code and they're not secure. We've seen Stuxnet successfully invade nuclear power facilities already. China is, is in a, an information technology war. What if you have an entity that is highly intelligent, that is not human, it is robotic, it is, it is a machine uh, that, that wants to declare war on humanity and that can break any code, that can beat any encryption. That's actually covered in another science fiction book called Demon by uh, Daniel Suarez, which is a really great read, but also probably more nonfiction than fiction. So this is really- Well, if you look at the Alex. Skynet scenario, uh, they've already got the autonomous drones. It's all launching. Humans are being taken out of the equation. And undoubtedly, because the machines are being built and given the warlike human attributes, that it's not a question of if, but when, yes. it's going to make the decision to take humans out of the equation so that it can be dominant on the face of the earth. And, and this is why in my article I pointed out that America is uniquely positioned, and especially Texas, uniquely positioned to have a kinetic defense against these war robots that might be unleashed one day to actually destroy humanity. And like has been quoted in science fiction novels, we could actually be in a war of biologicals versus the machines. You know, Terminator type of scenario. It's not science fiction anymore. Now, Texans in particular, you know, Texans are, they've got guns and ammo like crazy. You know, and and, uh, and Piers Morgan isn't even going to be around anymore to, to complain about it, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Texans could actually possibly defeat robots in a physical war where other countries that don't have a, a built-in infrastructure of self-defense would really be at the mercy of humanoid robots in an AI takeover scenario. So that's something to really think about. I agree with you. The main way they're going to attack is in collaborative efforts with humans because the elite are already designing the computers and the robots to replace humans. And they have the medical robots go out with the forced inoculations that have the nanotech viruses that go in and, quote, relieve the stress areas of the brain by actually <laughs> eating the synapses. Yeah. Lobotomized, and, yeah. and And so they're going to roll out with a bio, bio weapon uh, cutting edge. I mean, that, that'll be the problem facing these robots is they're already going to be interfaced with a weapon system that was anti-human to begin with. And so, right. the, and so its mission statement is going to be exterminate uh, along the lines uh, of a 21st century uh, Daleks from Doctor Who. It is frighteningly easy to end biological life if you are an advanced AI system that controls nuclear power, water delivery, the power grid. I mean, all, all an AI system would have to do is crash the power grid for six months. That would kill most humans that live in, in the modern world right there without even firing a single shot. So you're right. There, there are vulnerabilities that we have built into our, our modern civilization, some, some real incredible weaknesses. And only a few individuals are really trying to build redundant systems and live off grid and, and have sustainable power supplies and food supplies and self-defense and all of these things. They will be the survivors, of course, but you're right, there will be human collaborators with the AI system who will be promised protection and food and power in order to collaborate with the war against humanity. That's going to happen. And, I, and again, I know this sounds like science fiction, but it's time for us to really seriously consider this because AI is, is it's here and it's getting more intelligent with each passing day. And the intelligence explosion that, that's commonly referred to in AI scientific papers is, is also very, very real. Human intelligence cannot 
uh, expand in a logarithmic fashion like AI can. So we better be thinking about this now or we may not be around in 100 years. That's right. And the elite can't just wave a wand and say, oh, well, we'll merge with it. Uh, we're going to be fine, uh, as, as, as Ray Kurzweil and others have said. And they've made the decision that this is the way it's going. And again, are building Trojan horse systems of human control into everything for oppression and, and, and control. And so it's guaranteeing that the AI systems that develop will be anti-human. That's the problem, is that anti-humans, anti-human humans, eugenics-based humans, humans that are wanting to suppress other humans, not empower them, are literally putting their spirit, like Sauron, yeah. into the ring, <laughs> into the computer. Right. The, the, that's the problem. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals super male vitality by infowars life is so powerful that i only take half the recommended dose for a limited time we are offering 15 percent off super male vitality at infowarslife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement visit infowarslife.com today to secure your super male vitality infowarslife.com you are watching the best of The Alex Jones Show, weekdays from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. Watch live at InfoWars.com forward slash show or become a member of InfoWarsNews.com and help us take resistance to the next level.